We have got a shipment of 37 kilowatt variable frequency drive and let us take out this VFD from the carton. VFD is packed with thermocol material parts so that there is no damage during transportation. This is front view of VFD. We can see Innovance company logo and a LCD display with a keypad. Keypad has various buttons to program the VFD and these buttons are also used to start and stop the VFD. It has got four LEDs just above the LCD display. From the left side, first LED is for run status. When VFD is started then this run LED glows. Next we have local remote LED. When this LED is off then the VFD is in local mode and we can start and stop the VFD from the keypad buttons. If local remote LED is on then VFD will be operated from control terminals. And if this LED blinks then it means that VFD is controlled from communication port. Next, we have forward reverse LED. If this LED is off then motor rotates in forward direction, and if LED is on then motor rotates in reverse direction. At the rightmost, we have tune or TC LED indicator. TC means torque control. If tune or TC LED is on then VFD is in torque control mode and if LED if OFF then VFD will operate on normal mode. If tune or TC LED will blink slowly during motor auto tuning operation. However if this LED blinks quickly then it is an indication of a VFD fault condition. At the bottom of LED display, we can see a unit indicator. If the display shows frequency value then HZ symbol will be on. Similarly, if display shows ampere, then a symbol will be on. Now, let us understand the function of keys in a keypad. PRG is a program button and is used to enter in a programming mode. Enter button is used to go to parameter settings and is also used to store a change value of a parameter. Up and down key are used to increase and decrease the value of a parameter. Right key is used to shift digits during parameter editing. When VFD is set in local mode, then start and stop buttons are used to start and stop the VFD. However, stop button is also used to reset the VFD fault condition. MF and quick buttons are used to create menu configuration shortcuts. Let us see how to remove the front cover from the VFD. VFD has got two slots at the bottom of both sides to fix the plastic latch. We have to push the latch inside the VFD to release it and then cover can be easily removed. After removing the front cover, we can see power terminals at the bottom side of VFD. At the leftmost, we have our ST terminals for connecting mains supply our YB phase. Then, we have positive and negative terminals of DC bus voltage. BR terminal is for connecting external braking resistor. Braking resistor is connected between BR terminal and DC positive terminal. At the rightmost, we can see UVW terminals which are used for connecting cables of motor. Just below keypad, we have control terminal block. Let us understand control terminals category wise. First we have DC power supply terminals which are plus 10 volt, located at the top left. Next is plus 24 volt which is located at right bottom side. OP terminals is shorted with plus 24 volt terminal. These are all power supply terminals. Plus 10 volt is used when potentiometer is connected to VFD for speed control. Plus 24 volt is used for connecting digital inputs. If external DC 24 volt supply is used then we have to remove the shorting of OP terminal and connect the plus 24 volt to OP terminal. COM is the common terminal of DC power supply. AI1 and AI2 are analog input signals. Analog input signal 1 wire will be connected to AI1 terminal and other signal wire will be connected to the GND terminal. GND is a ground terminal. Similarly AO1 is an analog output terminal. 
DI1 to DI5 are digital input terminals, and DO1 terminal is digital output terminal. At the right side of control terminal block, we have relay output terminal, marked as TA, TB and TC. Here TA terminal is a common point of relay. TB is NC point of relay and TC is NO point of relay. By default, relay is programmed for VF default condition. These are earthing point of control terminals. Finally, let us see how to fit the front cover back to VFD. First, we have to fix the top latch of cover to VFD slot, and then slowly press at the bottom side of the cover as shown. Let us understand the standard wiring diagram provided in the VFD manual. Main supply should be connected to VFD using suitable rating of breaker, reactor, contactor, and fuses. VFD input terminals are wired by taking wire from common terminal and connected to push buttons, selector switches, and then to VFD input terminals. External potentiometer is connected to VFD using plus 10 volt, AI1 and GND terminal. Potentiometer wiper wires should be connected to AI1. Here, we have RS485 terminals. PLC or other devices can be connected to this port for communication and control. TA, TB, TC are relay terminals. Remember that, by default, relay is programmed to activate on fault condition. DO1 is digital output terminal. FM terminal is used to generate pulse signal. AO1 is analog output terminal. It generates 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliampere. RJ port is provided to connect external operator terminal. We can add optional card in this VFD to accept encoder signal, if required in our project. UVWR for motor connection. Braking resistor will be connected to BR and plus DC terminal. Hope this video was a good introduction to variable frequency drive.